Oh, hi there. Uh, good evening. Uh, today I wanted to talk about my experience as an uh, involuntary celebrity. Not a lot of people, you know, I briefly went about this in other videos, but I figured I'd mention it again. Uh, it a the question gets asked, how many people know who I am? I mean, like, in the world, I'm constantly reminded that, you know, I'm, I'm treated like second class. I mean, I'm not going to go and complain about it or anything, but it's worth mentioning. And, you know, there really isn't a lot of room to be optimistic, except that... I happen to have a very creative mind and I can see past uh, the regular lies. I mean, it's been a bumpy road for me because of, well, medications really, uh, oh, it's, uh, it's put my body through trials. It, it was not a fun experience, I'll, I'll say that much. Uh, yeah, that's uh, difficult to live with. And then you factor in that I'm here on YouTube making videos, not having the slightest clue as to how many people actually watch them. Now, when I see a video and it's got five views and, you know, with the kind of people who obviously hate on me the way they do, bullshit. They're, they're, they're most certainly conspiring against me. Which is fine, uh, because they'll never get anywhere, but uh, it doesn't stop them from trying. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm shocked that it's been like this for years. I'm so popular that I'm completely not popular. Uh, you know, like, there must be hundreds of people who watch this YouTube channel. Even if they skim through, you know, the basics of what I say in videos, or they only watch the good ones, or whatever. Um, and part of the problem is that they try to hide it. They, they try to, you know, restrict access to it. So I have every reason to believe that uh, my YouTube channels don't appear on other servers. And what I mean by that is, basically, I never have the opportunity to go on a computer that's obviously, you know, it belongs to somebody else, with their permission, of course, to look up my own social media content. I never get the opportunity. I live in a in an insane situation where it seems as though not one single person wants to spend any more time with me than they have to. And I know that's a bunch of bull because uh, uh, I'm not saying they like me, but I am going to say that there have been times where I've observed things and I go, that's not normal, something's off about this, that's plain downright crazy. And after years of being talked to in a certain way, you, you start to go, do I live in a parallel universe where everything's insane? Or, you know, is there actually a rhyme to the reason? Um, this is a question I cannot answer. Um... However, uh, my movements are very predictable because I don't have a lot of, uh, you know, uh, energy to go about doing things. Like, uh, I'd like to work out more, obviously, and lose, well, I want to lose about 25 pound, I'd say. That would be my goal. And then I'd be at a more sustainable weight level, I think. 
And it could be done under normal circumstances, but I think medication actually plays on that and helps make it very difficult to lose weight. Um, so that's a thing. Um, I'm constantly feeling ill to some degree. Used to be all about my throat. I'm noticing that's getting a little bit better, but now I'm getting different things going on. I've got my kidneys, or what I think are my kidneys anyway, because it's the same spot on my lower back on both sides. Uh, so I think that's my kidneys, and uh, they ache. Uh, it's been getting worse the last couple of months. Uh, and stomach cramps. I'm getting real bad stomach cramps. I've... Uh, you know, I've been taking my prescriptions, but, you know, all this stuff is just bad for the body. It really is. Um, so, all that aside, you know, um, it makes it difficult to travel. I'm basically trapped. My movements are completely predictable, and, you know, there's not a lot of... Um, avenues of doing things differently uh, unless you know I have the time and space to do that I mean I live a regular sort of life uh, you know uh, I do my thing and you know uh, trying to make money trying to be successful and uh, every time I think that things are gonna start to get better Life just throws a wrench at me. And, uh, you know, um, I definitely have said this before, but I think it, you know, there's certain things that Heath Ledger's Joker did say that kind of make sense. Um, oh, what was one of the things he said? Um, well, in, in different contexts, obviously. Uh, but basically, when he was saying, you know, you trade one life for the other, uh, that's what happens internationally. I mean, uh, those Aussies that uh, the Chinese government apprehended and put on trial are probably going to be executed, as far as I know. I didn't look into it too much. Uh, and the... Uh, you know, the Huawei uh, executive and things like that over here. But they do water it down to the point where they grab, you know, regular old Joe Schmo like myself. Uh, and they do that because it's like a trade to lessen the burden or intensify the burden of the equivalent of me in some other part of the world. It doesn't have to be China. It could be somewhere else. Um, and once you get roped into this game, then it's very difficult to, uh, establish, uh, a good footholding so that, you know, you don't get dragged away by the game and, you know, you do things the way they want you to do them. Because there are a lot of people who are very obsessive compulsive about human behavior. Uh, and there's a lot of things about me. Part of it is that, you know, I'm, this is my way of saying fuck you to the current culture. I'm not doing things your way. I'm going to do them my way. It's not that you're wrong and it's not that I'm wrong. It's just what I do contradicts what you want me to do. And since you're the ones who are indirectly trying to tell me what to think and how to behave, you know, I've got this thing where I don't like being told what to do. So, uh, fuck you, and I'm gonna, you know, go about doing things my way. My life would be a lot easier if I played into the game the way they want me to. First of all, they don't want me to know that there's a game to begin with. They want me to, you know, blissfully go through life, oh, this is normal, this is the way things are supposed to be. Duh, I'm an idiot. No, that isn't how it is. I know there's something screwed up here, and what it is, is a big gang that's around me, and, uh, or, you know, whatever you want to call them, 
And basically, they're obsessive compulsive about my behavior because they wanted me to change as a person and they thought that they knew how to do that and I'm contradicting them. And like I said, it's not because I'm a bad guy or anything like that. It's because I don't want to behave the way they want me to. I don't care about the causes that are going on in the world that people are, are really passionate about. It's like... That's your bag. Don't push it onto me. If you try pushing it onto me, I'm going to tell you why you're wrong right then and there. Uh, yeah, so as a public figure, which is what the goal was of making a YouTube channel, um, things would have been easier had I chosen a different path. But that wouldn't be me. So, obviously, you know, uh, when life gives you lemons, you make, uh, vodka with lemon juice. Yeah. Um, because there's a lot of people out there running around thinking they know what's best for society, and, you know, in their right, they're not wrong, but... Again, that's them imposing their will, undermining the intelligence of the people who they're trying to impose the will on. And, you know, some people are going to say, I'm not subscribing to your bullshit. And I am such a person. Uh, a lot of people didn't think, a lot of people thought the white man was going to go away for, you know, a long time. And there are white men out there, uh, in particular, uh, well, white people, but mostly the males, uh, who are saying, fuck you, this is not the way it's going, we're not doing it your way, I understand your problems, I just don't care about them. And, uh, you know, like, you take examples like, in the Marvel Universe, there's talk about there being a Chinese Hulk, or, um you know, uh, a black Spider-Man and, you know, like just basically everything that isn't white and imposing it into our, our comic book genres. And you notice that a lot around places that it's just like, okay, this is blatantly anti-white. And it's like, no, I don't feel like, you know, apologizing for what ancestors that happened to look like me did. Uh, you know, that's got nothing to do with the current situation and you take things like the black lives matter for example black people are very very selfish people in the united states they think they got it the worst out of anybody and they think they're getting reparations excuse me fuck you you were able to stuff your fat faces filled with fucking kentucky fried chicken for all these years uh, scheme welfare checks, smoke marijuana, do what you want, uh, and you whine that you go to jail. Well, maybe if you stop committing crimes, you wouldn't go to jail. Um, whereas black could be a euphemism for, uh, you know, basically people who are not white, which could mean the First Nations, who got it a hell of a lot worse than the black population did. The black population doesn't give a shit. It's all about them. Uh, or you could say that about the Hong Kongers where they've been annexed by the Chinese mainlanders and you can guarantee the gangsters in Hong Kong are being raped by the Chinese mainlanders right now. Uh, so that's something. But does the average black male care about that? Does the news cover that sort of stuff? No. It doesn't. So they keep banging the war drums on on the uh, African American population, uh, saying that uh, they're entitled to this, blah, 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 blah. they got it the worst, blah 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 blah, and it's like none of most of those people were not slaves of any kind. You know that's a, a debatable word anyway, but um, they weren't slaves. Uh, they had as much opportunity as other white people who were in poor circumstances. Because guess what? In the United States, there are plenty of poor white people too. And, um, you know, I'm a voice that stands up for reason. But 
I honestly don't give a crap about that cause. I really don't. And, you know, it's not a popular theory. And uh, the people who do agree with me have a tendency to keep their mouth shut. You know, this mentality, keep your head down, keep working, and no harm will come to you. Fuck you. If a boulder's rolling down the fucking hill, it's going to get you whether you're minding your own business or not. Uh, it's called being, you know, spineless and cowardly by ignoring problems. I mean, granted, I don't give things attention, so that's why I've not made a video specifically about Black Lives Matter. Uh, and this video is predominantly not going to be about that topic. I was using it as an example. Um, you know, um... Yeah, getting back to the involuntary celebrity, the funny thing about using that word in that combination is that it immediately shuts up everyone who was saying, ooh, insel, insel, he, 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 which were all shithead bureaucrats that were fucking saying those things. And they thought they had the sanctimonious right to be calling me a bunch of names because of their own incompetence. And the fact that they like having a punching bag around so that they can release tension. I don't believe in that kind of shit. I don't like being a punching bag and I don't think anybody else really would like it. But there are people out there that do inclined, uh, are inclined to uh, want someone around who they can treat like dirt. Um... And they did a mighty fine job of that for many years against me. The only problem is, I was able to get back up. I was able to say, fuck you to your program, I'm doing things my way. And I think very few people in my situation ever get to do that. Because they want things to be in a perpetual state of being unresolved. And that most certainly would be maddening for anybody. Uh, when you have these nagging problems that just don't go away, that you can't fix, no matter how hard you try to. And some people crack. Uh, a lot of people crack, as a matter of fact. Uh, and, you know, that's how they rope you tighter into the system, and then you're just fucked. And who's going to take your word anyway? Uh, you know, you were an outcast, uh, and you were an outcast because a few loud mouths said some nasty things about you, and whether they were true or not has lost its relevance. Not that they were, whatever the hell they said, and I don't know what they expect me to think, but, uh, I gotta tell you, there's some things that are kind of, uh, kind of fucked up about the situation. And you know what? Uh, not just anybody can hassle me. So, what does that mean exactly? That means whenever I do get hassled, it has to be thought out, planned out, and they have to obey certain rules to uh, be able to hassle me. And there are a lot of strange rules that I wouldn't have agreed to. Very few people yell at me. That's one thing. Uh, I rarely ever get yelled at. And, you know, people could get used to that. It's not saying that I want to get yelled at, but I'm saying I could handle it if someone was yelling at me, even though I have not that much experience of being yelled at. Um, but when you start adding rules, uh, there are people who are obsessive compulsive about what you do and what you think. Uh, you're clearly being monitored. Uh, or at least they know exactly where you are at any given time. And which is easy to do when everyone has a smartphone and, you know, people got to go to work, you know, people got to do this, got to do that. And their routine becomes behavior. They know that you don't have a driver's license, you don't have a car, so you're not driving anywhere. Um, yeah. So they know everything about that. I review my social media and everything I was able to create out of it. And I go, Bullshit. 
this story you're trying to tell me what my life is is something only somebody with a lobotomy would actually believe. Because it's just incredibly stupid. It doesn't make any sense. And I'm just concerned that they're going to try and sweep me under the rug because a lot of people just don't like my opinions and they think I'm going to go away and then therefore, you know, it'll be like I never existed. Well, I got news for you, prick. Uh, I'm going to be around and I'm not changing my opinions and you're going to have to confront me at some point about it. And not that I expect you to have the good grace of admitting that you were wrong, but, uh... You will be in a position where it is very evident that you were wrong. Whether you want to admit that or not is, you know, the, there's not much I can do to change that. So, yeah. There, there are things I can see in the world that don't make any sense and are, you know, purely crazy talk. And, uh, this YouTube video I'm making is not crazy talk. This is... I'm pointing out things that are fucking very weird. Very fucking weird. And uh, people lowball how weird it is. They go, oh, that's just how normal life is, blah, blah, blah. And it's like, no, it isn't. And, uh, yeah, that, uh, that really, you know, bothers them. Because then it goes, well, we can't fool this guy into believing what we want him to believe. He's at a point where his brain has developed and he's grown up as a person that just because we say something doesn't mean he's going to believe it. And these are all important things to take into consideration as an involuntary celebrity. I'm one of the, you know, in the cheap seats in the background, but, you know, essentially, uh, I am enabling other powers to emerge and I'm weakening the grip of modern society. I believe I am. I strongly believe that. Because, uh, you know, there's more than one truth to every story. And, uh, you know, the story that's been constantly ladled on is actually just promoting, um, you know, uh, I guess you'd call them right-wingers um, from, you know... They must be getting sick and tired of hearing the same damn stories over and over again. Uh, you know, oh, the white man's going away. Oh, uh, you got to respect this. You got to do that. And these are the kind of people that don't like being told what to do either. There's a lot of people out there that don't like being told what to do. And, um, yeah. In the future... This pendulum, which is society, is not going to go one way or it's going to go the other. And, you know, when the facts are laid out on the table and it's like, well, you're going to have to pay reparations, blah, blah, blah. You're going to have to do this. Your quality of life is going to be decreased and all this other sort of stuff. And it's like, who's going to really stand for that? Uh, I'm talking about the right wing or white people. Who, who's going to stand up for that? Any emotion of going, ooh, I feel bad, white guilt, blah, 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 that's going to go out the window when they're told, well, it don't matter if you feel guilty, you're still paying for it. Um, yeah, you'll be surprised at how many, how many white people wake up and decide, hey, wait a minute, I don't want to pay for this. I said I was sorry, what more do you want from me? And, yeah, there's just... They're not going to put up with it. Because, uh, you know, it's all good and well until someone starts saying, well, to apologize for real, you got to give up some certain things. And it's like, no. And the very, very few people are ever going to go along with that idea once they realize what it is. And like I said, I'm a voice on the social media that doesn't operate on the same sort of rules. I'm probably all over the place on the dark web. Um, but, you know, I got no recognition over here, though. None to my face, anyway, because I don't have anything to say. So, anyway, I'm going to wrap this up.
many much more things to talk about but that is beyond the scope of this video so i will talk to you people later have a good night